Have you ever wondered how a parachute works to save your life? In this video, I will explain the basic systems of a sport skydiving rig, its components, and how they all work together to get you back on the ground safely. What's up guys and welcome back to the Prop Zone. My name is Scott. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I've been skydiving for five years. I have a little over 600 jumps, a C license, a coach rating. I work in the industry and pretty much just do outside video for tandems. My goal with this channel is to provide useful information to new or prospective skydivers. Today, I'm going to explain how a parachute system works by explaining the components and how they all work together. Okay, let's get started by talking about the rig and its components. Uh, this here is what most skydivers would call a complete rig. This particular rig is a javelin. Uh, what we see here is called the container. You could guess why, because basically it contains things. The first thing to recognize is that the container has a harness. When purchasing a new container, they will correctly size the harness to your body measurements, ensuring a proper fit. Now, inside the container, we can find three major components. On the bottom half, we have the main canopy, and on the top, we have the reserve canopy. Located with the reserve canopy on most rigs, we have what's called an AAD, or automatic activation device. These are the basic components of a complete rig. Now that we understand the basics of what makes up a rig, let's talk about the components individually and how they work. This here is the main canopy. Aside from the parachute itself, there are other parts that it needs to deploy properly. The main canopy sequence looks like this. Pilot chute handle, pilot chute, bridle, deployment bag, main canopy and lines, and risers. The pilot chute handle is connected to the pilot chute, which allows you to pull it out of the BOC, or bottom of container, as shown here. The pilot chute itself is a small parachute connected to a long bridle. The long bridle allows the pilot chute to escape the burble behind your back in free fall. The pilot chute will inflate, and it will pull the bridle. The bridle will pull the deployment bag out of the container. As the deployment bag comes out, the lines will unstow, eventually pulling the deployment bag off and exposing the main canopy. Once the canopy is exposed, air will start to enter the cells, causing it to pressurize and slowly open, slowing down your fall rate. After we have a good canopy over our heads, you'll notice the risers. The risers essentially house your steering toggles. These allow you to turn the canopy left and right. And they also connect the main canopy line set to the container via a three ring release system, which I'll explain about later. If at any point the canopy does not deploy properly, we have here what's called a cutaway handle that once pulled, you guessed it, cuts away the main canopy. This allows us to deploy our reserve canopy via our reserve deployment handle. The reserve canopy sits up here in the upper tray of the container. I will not go into too much detail about the reserve canopy, except that it does deploy in a similar way of the main canopy, but has a few differences in the deployment sequence. Let's hope you don't have to use it. The final component of the rig is a small computer called an AAD, or Automatic Activation Device. The computer works by utilizing an altimeter and airspeed indicator. If it notices that you are at a certain altitude, let's say about a thousand feet, and you are still at free fall speeds, otherwise known as terminal velocity, it will activate. The AAD will assume you are unable to deploy either your main or reserve. It will assist you by cutting the main closing loop of your reserve canopy, allowing the deployment sequence to begin. The major benefit of the AAD is it will save your life if you become unconscious or unable to deploy your main canopy. Okay guys, that right there is the basics of a sport parachute system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and write them down below and I will be happy to respond. I will be posting more informative videos on skydiving soon and hope to see you guys back on the next video.
Thanks for watching.